you missed a video on my channel? <sighs> Lame. Here's what happened. I did a collab with Etsy artist Bloodlight and Bambi and designed a look based around one of her masks. It all started because I was in the biggest funk of my life and decided to cheer myself up by doing art. I made bows, sexy, sexy sleeves, and went from this to this. Sickening, no? And that's what you missed on my channel. Oh, hello, everybody. It is me, Lux, your favorite Gadessa girl. I'm doing another YouTube video. Yay! I'm really trying to get on a schedule here. After my last video was so successful, I was just really riding that emotional high and I knew that I had to throw myself into another one. It's a new day in the workroom and we have a new project. I've had this idea for a little while and I'm so excited that I'm finally actually sitting down and creating it. I'm ready to problem solve, to learn new things, and to create cool stuff. Hopefully I come up with something good. I'm gonna go sketch out my costume. <laughs> My truth is that I was so excited to draw this out that I sketched it all before I even thought to record, so I'm just gonna narrate. The idea for this dress came to me when I was with my friends watching runway shows, and there it was. The dress that inspired this whole thing. Moschino Spring Trummer 2020 look 41. But I never like to just copy, I always put my own spin on it. So, since I am an artiste, I decided that the painting on my dress would be my Sailor Moon redraw, and the rest is history. JK, I'm about to explain it all. Here are the materials I used for this project. Some scrap white cotton I had laying around. White stretch knit fabric. Gold stretch fabric. Some quilt batting. Here's a close-up. Ooh. Gold fabric. I bought way too much of this. Also, it's supposed to be wrinkly. How weird. And lastly, lots of acrylic paint. And yes, we do store them in the Twilight box set box. Fight me. Let's go! Wait, pause. I've been lying to you. This project actually started the night before. Remember this dress? Hot, right? For this new project, I knew I wanted the body of the dress to be fitted, and to do that, I needed a pattern. So I cut this one up! OMG, JK, can you imagine? I could never. Instead, I taped pieces of construction paper together, laid them on top of the inside out dress, and traced along the seams to make my pattern pieces. If you don't have this dress, I cannot help you. Then I cut out my pattern pieces, lined them up on the white cotton fabric, pinned her down and cut them out. Here's the pieces all cut out. Next, I pinned the pieces together like you do and sewed them all. Ta-da! I, iron, uh, I ironed the seams open like the good little seamster I am and then I put those pattern pieces somewhere safe so next time I wouldn't have to trace them out. And now the timeline has caught up to us in real time! I laid the front of the dress on the fold and then started to cut it out, but quickly realized I needed the stretch to be going the other way. So I flipped the fabric. So yeah, make sure your fabric stretches the right way or you will not be a hampy camper. Then I pinned the back to the sides and ran it through my sewing machine. Here's what I have. It just wrinkles really bad, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and put some boning in this. I started by cutting two really long equal pieces of boning for the middle two seams of the dress. I then noticed that there was a stain on my fabric. Good thing it will all be painted over. Remove the boning from its little sleeve and pin the sleeve along the seams like so. Aw, look how happy I am. Sew down each side of the sleeve as seen here, and then struggle to slide the boning into the sleeve because you're not a professional and barely know what you're doing. I don't know, I kind of sewed it in bad. I'm honestly doubting my skills at this moment in time. Make it work. I'm just gonna keep going. Do it. Thanks, Tim. You always know what to say. Next, Tiffany helped me spray paint the dress while it was on my body to give it a primer layer of paint. I just cut up the back of the dress. I've taped the dress onto this table. I don't know what I'm doing at all. Don't think too much. Wish me luck. Hello, 
I'm Lux Queen, and I'd like to welcome you to the joy of watching me paint. Let's get started. As you can see, I've lightly sketched out my design with pencil. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a guide. The eyes are a great place to start. I'm using a nice blue for the eyeliner as a nod to Barbies from the 90s. Then I just like to scoop a little black in there to add some darkness, like all of us have inside ourselves. The eyebrows are my favorite part of my face. Just look how iconic. When I do my art, I try and create without judgment. Asymmetry makes things interesting. Much like my art, we are all perfectly imperfect. I'm imagining I'm doing someone's makeup. Painting intimidates me, but doing makeup is something I know I can do. It's all about perspective. I used real blush to give sailor looks warm rosy cheeks, and I used real eyeshadow to give her that signature questionably blended Lux look. This is our world. We make the rules. Life is too short, so I'm making the bold and fun choice to use blue to outline everything. Let's add some depth to these eyes. I thought everything was looking a little too precise, so I gave my brush the tiniest dip into the paint and slapped it around until my painting looked more painterly. I made her crying because it's all right to cry. It might make you feel better. Add some finishing touches to fill space, and we're all done. Thanks for joining me on this sweet painting adventure, and may the gods bless you. Day two, here we go. I woke up this morning early. I have the whole day in front of me. That's so exciting. I feel like I'm a real artist now because I did a, I did a painting. When you get frustrated, the best thing to do is take a step back and back to it with a fresh mindset because you will definitely look at it better. I'm just gonna go start. Yay! So now I have to start on the frames, which I kind of know what I'm doing. For the frames, I started by making a tester out of poster board. Do I look like a painting? Then I cut it in half to use as a pattern, traced it onto the quilt batting, and cut it out. I did these same steps for the front and back of both top and bottom frames. I cut two matching pieces of the gold fabric and stacked them all together with batting on bottom and gold on top. Then I sewed around my shape, which was really hard, clipped the corners, and flipped it inside out. I ironed it flat to make it look extra nice and flipped up the bottom to make a hem of sorts. I was trying to think of ways to make the fabric look more like a frame, so I sewed three lines of top stitching along the bottom edge and then followed the steps in my last video to make small ruffles which I then hand sewed on in reference to the Rococo era of fashion and for visual interest. Everybody, it's day three. It's like 2:30, and I'm trying to take my photos at Golden Hour, which is in a, um, a few hours. So I gotta just go. Well, I'm gonna quit lollygagging around and go get started. I got this zipper to use. I'm gonna see if I can just shimmy into this little tube I've made. Now it's just a question of how do I attach these pieces. I put on the dress and pinned the frame pieces on and then hand sewed it all together. To make the gloves, have Tiffany trace your whole arm onto the gold stretch fabric. Use a zigzag stitch and sew all around and voila! Gloves! Ooh! Oh! And if you happen to notice that one of them doesn't have a finger, that's drag. And if you don't like it, then f Here's the final look. I'm not completely in love with it, but I'm working on being happy with my work even if it isn't perfect. 
I'm proud of myself for my perseverance and taking this challenge head on. I'll see you guys again real soon. Oh, and thank you to this local queen for taking those gorgeous pictures for me. Bye.